Welcome back to another episode of the Slime World Podcast. I'm Lil Boy Rock. I'm Ye. I'm Solo. And you're in for another conversation that's going to be out this world. Let's go. All right, man. We're getting right into these topics today. I'm not lollygagging. Uh, here we go, man. The first thing I want to talk about is... Was King Von really rap's first serial killer? Do y'all know much about King Von? And how many bodies he got? He had like 12 bodies or something. <laughs> I have no clue. Hey, do you think, so what do you think, what, define a, what a serial killer is? I ain't killed anybody, but I had something to do with that body. <laughs> Oh no! I mean, if you if we're talking about the fact of like this man was a serial killer, then yes, that, that's a fact. Who defined a serial killer? Uh, someone that kills serially. I don't really know what serial means. Consistently killing people multiple times. No, over three or four bodies within a, a di- serial killer is killing somebody, killing having more than three or four bodies in the span of more than one month. It's, it's like that so, huh? Is that a fact? Yes. Okay. So that's what that's what is defined as a serial killer. So if you have one body this month, then the next body the next month, then the next body the next month, the next body the next month, then the next body the next month, you are a serial killer. King Von has over ten. He needs more than two hands to count his bodies. Um, all right. So here's the thing, right? There's a there was a dude from O Block, one of King Von's friends, and he and basically Chapel or Ross, he came out with this doc on YouTube and he basically was defining all the stories and how King Von got all his bodies. And a dude from O Block said, Stop defaming King Von. Uh-huh. How do you defame a nigga that says, This is a crazy story, let me walk you through how I caught this body? How do you defame the dude that says she don't want you because you don't got more than 10 bodies? How do you defame the dude that has been openly known to catch bodies? And then when someone says, yo, King Von is a serial killer, you are now defaming him. Does that make any sense to y'all? What's y'all take on that? Was he like the person that this was like pre-recorded... King Von stuff or like the doc, yeah, Chapel Ross. Yeah. He makes like many docs, um, like like anything ranging from like an hour to three hours on uh-huh. YouTube, and he like deep dives into it. Like he deep dives into all the trap lore. <laughs> um, so someone so. someone once said uh, someone once said that when we like when we like somebody when we like somebody. We don't care what they've done. And when it comes to King Von, I think he spent his time wisely on being likable that people don't care about the whole body situation. That's the... I mean, that's cool, but, like, you can't defame a serial killer if he just... if You can't defame a serial killer that called himself a serial killer. It just doesn't make any sense. King Von caught bodies, and that's the facts. Mm-hmm. So when a white man does it, They don't like it. But if a black person came on the internet and said, hey, King Von was a serial killer. He caught more than 10 bodies. Everybody would be like, oh my gosh. This man really did right by King Von. This shit is crazy. Was that in the the headline? What, that he was white? No, that he was like a a serial killer? Yeah, they started calling him a serial killer after the government put the Rico on O-Block and they said King Von put a honey K on FBG Duck. The it was the police that called him a serial killer first. I think because they hear it. They hear it from yeah. white man. Huh? They heard it from white man. They didn't like it. Nah, I feel like I mean. <laughs> Same thing. Like I feel like when when the comment on the conversation of like those two words, it's like, it's like, when you hear a serial killer, you don't think of a black person. Yeah. So when when somebody says. Oh, King Von was a serial killer. It's like, don't attach us to y'all. <laughs> that's what it really is. Like, right. that's, that's, and that's, that's I, I think it's even worse that uh, y'all was doing that to us. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, 
That's what it really be. Down what do you what do you mean when you just said that y'all doing that to us? The white man labeling the black man as a serial killer. Oh. That's why oh. bros probably fuck up. Yeah, they don't like that. I mean you you seen um But if a black person called him a serial killer, what? They would they would just they, cool, not, they would they be like cool cool shit, bro. Like I don't even think I mean right, you got academics. I like, let's talk about so much stuff. They're not they're gonna look they're not past gonna press it they, they, it's just Academics. Yeah, yeah, true. But it's like it's what's the dude Jake ten ninety, ten ninety Jake, when he was exposing all the black rappers when he did this the snitch wars when he mm-hmm. started the snitch wars everyone was like we ain't into that but if it was a black person, like academics, and was like hey, academics chill out a little bit bro we going too far, but they now like hey bro I don't believe you because you look like the person that'd tear down somebody from our community. Crazy world we live in. I don't like. <laughs> nah, bro. I'm not doing that. Anyway, since we talking about King Bron, bro, we gonna segue into the next topic, which is basically uh, the person we just mentioned, FBG Duck with the Honey K Bounty. His mother's actually speaking out right now on his behalf, and she just, <laughs> and she just. <laughs> Speaking out on his behalf, she recently just named the person that dropped the location while FPG Duck was in Gold Coast. And if you guys are familiar with Gold Coast, which I'm assuming you are, when's the last time we've ever, before I even dive into that, when's the last time we've ever heard of any hooligans basically going into that area and bombarding it with violence? So... Where he, where uh, Gold Coast Magnificent Mile, he was on Magnificent Mile when that whole thing happened. Yeah, there's a hotel called the Magnificent Mile Hotel. I went to there. I went there one time. When I tell you <laughs> the amount of black people I saw in that hotel, I'm not surprised. So, to the thing, to your to your question. We have not seen that whole scenario play out like that ever in Chicago, period. But I'm not surprised because black people really be in Chicago. Bro, it's police on horses. I don't know if any of y'all ever walked down there, bro. It's literally police is on horses on every corner. They in carriages and they, in ho- they on horses. You telling me that somebody went and let shots go broad day? It's police cars on every single corner out there. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, bro. My entire birth to now, for I've never heard anything going on in that area. So to see somebody slain in cold blood in on Magnificent Mile is crazy. But if you look at the optics of it, I'm not surprised. But it's surprising that they would try it. But it's like the optics, I'm not surprised. All right, bro. I thought it was unspoken rule to have all the Cyrax savages never come to this area for violence. No. They yeah. might come to that area for a little Louis Vuitton and a little Gucci, uh, but they're never coming out there. If, box if they're, if, if, based off of what his mom said, if another hooligan is downtown and they see bro walking out of a store and they're like, and they're like, oh, I see, bro. Hey, hurry up. It's like, yeah, there's cops everywhere. But it's like, if you pull up, uh, this sounds crazy. If you pull up, attack somebody, and then peel off, what are they going to do besides try to find you? They can't, they, everyone's going to say, oh, someone down, I heard shots, and then they move on. That's it. So. No one does it because it's stupid. This is the real question, though. F- Mama Duck has named the person that drops the location. <laughs> and she also she's named T F T H F T Z, and she also said the name. I can't remember his name. I'm not gonna pull the video up. That's but name. is that snitching? She doesn't apply. Why? She's not. 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 She
She don't apply to snitching. Why she don't apply to snitching? Civilian. Oh, she's a civilian. But this is all about streets. Nah, bro. No, it's not. Nah, bro. If it was someone else that put saying his name, that's snitching. If his mom saying his name, that's not snitching. Mama know. Duck is a snitch, bro. I don't see. I don't know. I don't know what context of snitching that is. Is this person related to the group? Or? It's cool when they do it, but it's a problem when I do it. I'm saying that if I label her a snitch, what's the difference between? Is there a difference between Mama Duck and Mega Sally? I'm 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 lost. Like, how is it, how is, how is her t- saying the names of somebody that dropped the location? Let um, me say my this. Son. Exactly, How is bro. it snitching? Yeah. Exactly, bro. That's an unspoken rule. If niggas chat, if niggas <laughs> chat, then we can chat. <laughs> bro, if but it's me logical, right, I don't yeah, like bro. none of this. <laughs> bro. I'm trying to, I'm trying to really figure out. I'm trying to really figure out because I'm I'm sitting right now on the couch. I have two civilians that are giving me two civilian perspectives. Oh my gosh! So if I <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> ah damn, bro, damn, bro, go off, go, 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 bro. Did you just have? Let me know, bro. I got two civilians giving me two civilian takes. How is Mama Duck a civilian, bro? How is she a civilian? How is she a civilian? Uh, how is she not a civilian? She's she's she, her name is Mama Duck. I mean, yeah, no, that's not her name. <laughs> that's her name, bro. Yo, that's her name, bro. That's not her name, bro. She's def she's directly tied into the streets, bro. Ah, uh, bro. No, I can get into history, but clearly I can't convince the minds of other civilians. You only see a lady and you're going for it. You're all in and you're saying, well, I have a mother too. My mother is a civilian. Just because you have a mother doesn't mean that she's a civilian. But if that's what you choose to believe, I'm not going to sit here and change your mind. So let's just, with that being said, let's let's go ahead and segue into the next topic. Uh, there's the movie Super Mario Bros, right? It earned the biggest opening day or weekend or week or whatever for an animated film ever um this is something that he actually called i called bull i called bs on it because although it's mario i didn't really see that this movie would be like something that would grab attention so every day when i tried to go buy a ticket when it first came out the seats was full for real Boston. Literally, it was after 11 o'clock, if you was to see this movie, you were going to see it with a full theater. It wasn't no way around it. Unless you went late as hell or early as hell. I, um, so when I look at, when I looked at the news title, I'm like, it doesn't make sense to me when you have so many other animated movies. But when you talk about Mario him like yeah, if there's like docs on Netflix about like video games in the nineties or early eighties mm-hmm. or whatever. Mario's such an iconic figure that it's like that again, I don't believe the stat, but it makes it believable because of how iconic Mario is. I but, mean he said he mentioned Nintendo and I, I shut up. Like what you mean? Nintendo. Like I mean literally I was trying to sell him because if Nintendo never gave him the rights to Mario, yeah, yeah, yeah. Illumination, yeah, yeah. The people that made Despicable Me, me yeah, yeah, yeah. Despicable yeah. Me is already, uh, it, 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 that's so crazy because I could go through the timeline on like how Cat and Hat was such a bomb, horrible movie yeah, yeah, yeah. that they turned into a different. The people that was on Cat and Hat yeah, yeah, yeah. went to freaking try to do Lorax, yeah, and right. then those people was like, okay, let's just switch and they make Illumination yeah, and yeah, decided yeah. to go to Despicable Me. Yeah, but yeah. I'm saying the graphics of Illumination already has the audience of like the metrics of understanding what kids wants and like yeah, the yeah excess yeah, yeah. of everything. But because of Nintendo giving Illumination rights to make Mario, yeah. it was already bound to be successful. No, that's a, I, I, like I, that's, I feel. that's like it, it was already there. So I'm like, when we was even talking about it, and like even like you said, like it's not believable. It's like that's crazy because it's Mario. Yeah, I think what he's kind of saying is like Mario. Is to Nintendo what Halo is to Xbox. 
Like, I feel. It's I feel, that. I feel. No, no. It, it's like the the prime example of that. And okay. so it's like people are. Everybody knows what Nintendo is. So everybody knows what Mario is. So every and everyone is going to see the movie and the fact that Illumination did it. I'm not gonna lie. Despicable Me is low key the most underrated goat beginning of a franchise that I feel like people don't even they don't know that people don't even like acknowledge but it's like from that first movie to Mario is crazy yeah you think about it right you got Disney you got Disney and they make those type of you got Pixar and they make certain type of movies and then you got Illumination yeah they've been going crazy (laughs) bro what but Mario definitely the fact that 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 when he was trying to get tickets and it was so that was crazy like, yeah, that shit was actually blowing me. Like, personal. you have a mixture of kids, and then you have a mixture of adults. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I was banking on the earlier times being free, but it was adults. See? And then the later times was kids. When uh, Did you see it? No. Nah, uh-huh. When? <laughs> when? <laughs> Spoiler alert? <laughs> no, I'm not talking about the uh, story. When I went to go see it, it was kids, and it was adults. But it's like, again, with the whole Nintendo thing... Everybody knows what Mario is through the span, the whole lifespan of a human being. So it's like, but as I'm watching the movie, I'm like, could the Sonic movie have been like this? Or did it have to be live action? I feel like it had to be live action to emphasize the speed. Because if it was like um, Mario, I don't know if y'all, y'all seen Sonic Prime on Netflix. Yeah, that's But true. I felt like that would have been the... Version of the, Sonic. The, yeah, the Sonic movie. Yeah. I've never seen it before. Is it good? It's just a 3D Sonic TV show. Yeah. It's Is valid. It, was it good? Yeah it's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like if you were to watch Sonic back when, like just in a just better graphic today. card. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I mean, uh, if, if I was to watch... If I was to watch any of those games turn into movies, I'd probably want to see them like Mario Bros. I'd probably want to see the animations like that. I don't yeah. care about the other, because, other stuff. Because the thing about the Mario movie is like, you was actually it felt like y'all was in a world, like y'all was in their world. It felt like I was in a video game. Maybe if you I see it in four D, bro. Uh, <laughs> every time, every time, <laughs> I feel that. every time I did, I did this the same the same way I was watching The Last of Us. When Mar- every time Mario did something, I'd be like, this is a video game. Like, the the way they put the scene, I was like, this is a video game. Uh, and then, so, like, when I was watching Last of Us, I was like, there's a part where Shorty was scurrying upstairs, and I'm like, she doing this for no reason. This is a video <laughs> game. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, I didn't even notice that. I never even thought about that. You you finished Last of Us? Mm-hmm. You finished The Last of Us? Yeah. You know when they was in the building? Spoiler the alert. The giraffe? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, when she kept run- when she ran away from bro, and she climbed up the stairs, she yeah. was there already. Yeah, and, and he's like, hey, her, he's like, that. hey, chill. I didn't think about that. That, that looked that like is... a cutscene from a video, not right. even a cutscene from a video game. That no, that's, like... That's, like, that's like a video game. That's just like the NPC going and doing yeah. what they gotta <laughs> yeah, do, yeah, that, that, and so, then you so, run in yeah. to find them <laughs> yeah, so the storyline like, yeah. can continue. And I was walking like because I think everybody was like. And they seen that scene, I'm like, what the fuck is she on? Like, I just no, think you with this. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that that yeah. is that's a real video game scene. I ain't put two and two together. That's crazy. Even when uh and, and I this is <laughs> sidebar, but it's like there was an episode when um they go into the town and then they go into like that little uh they go hide in a place and then the people come, pull up, and they start shooting, and he's like, go through the wall, stay there, and then come out. That felt like a video game. Mm-hmm. Like, like he was like he's like go in the wall hide and then I'm gonna tell you when to come out and then you follow her go in the wall and then it's like and then it was like basically like it's the thing where they split y'all up so then now he's like hey I'm trying to get in this vent climb up on there open unhatch the thing open it so I could get through like it just felt very like that's video game I wasn't yeah. even thinking like that I feel like if you if you if you play the Last of Us so you know the the gameplay of Last of Us. Then I feel like you can put those that scope of lens on. I feel like if you're a normal person, have you ever played it? No. Have you ever played it? I played the demo, but it's like not even looking at the demo. But there's a lot in the gameplay too, so like I watch gameplay video. You watch gameplay video, so like there's scenes that you can say, "Oh snap, this is exactly what." I mean, it was literally a video on the scenes that was from yeah, the no, game. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the movie. So, I mean, it's just, it's like even with, going back to the Mario movie, it's like. 
it's like you just know Absolutely. oh like you know what I'm saying like this is a like this tiny this 10 seconds right here is a video game so do you think it was marketed towards kids or adults, essentially? Because that's the set of illumination. You talk about Despicable Me. So is this movie like really marketed towards kids more than adults? or like? I think I think it's marketed to everybody. I think it's E for, e for Rated E for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> rated E for everybody. I like that. Um, speaking of things being for everybody, uh, let's talk about this Lil Uzi Vert guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, this is the guy that's for everybody, right? Uh-huh. Um, so recently he just tattooed an upside down cross on his tongue. I got a question. Earlier, about a month or two ago, Uzi was, I think it was maybe like Hollywood Unlocked or maybe it was like a TMZ video mm-hmm. where Uzi was walking in the street and it was like, hey, Uzi, are you really like demonic? Like, do you really believe in things that you said? Because he said... He said some line about uh, JT, he can make a city girl believe in a yeah, Satan or something yeah, like that. Yeah. And so they were like, and Uzi was like, no, like, I'm not like that at all. Like, I pray. I, I come from a, yeah, like, a household. I'm regular. Like, uh-huh. do you still uh, believe that that is true? I think he's just, I mean, at this point, I feel like man is just put, trying to put a character. And I ain't gonna lie, like, if you look at the history of, like, anybody that's ever done, like, I feel like it ain't that far off to find God. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like if you're a rock star, like, any, any anybody that's has gotten tattoos or gotten crazy things, like, living that type of lifestyle, like, besides, like, our demographic taking the culture and running with it, you feel me, taking that, taking that and trying to run with it. Like Uzi, it's like it ain't that hard to find him. I think so I don't think so. To your answer, you don't think Uzi. You don't think Uzi is. I don't, I don't think he. I don't think his body like that. I mean, here's my thing. I think, <laughs> I think Uzi is getting towards the realm of being very demonic. Uh, I think Uzi has also crossed the line that there's no <laughs> returning from. Uh, Uzi is no longer a human. You know what I'm saying? He is a vessel with an entity inside of him. Because there is no way that you bind your tongue with an upside down cross. What are you sealing? Isn't the tongue the most powerful part of your body? What have you just sealed into your body, Mr. Uzi Burke? If you say it fast, you know the name. <laughs> I think I have to huh? say it again. Did you say it again? I said it again. <laughs> Because I feel like the only way you can have that chuckle yeah. if you said that shit in your head. And as soon as he said that, I was like, yeah, um, that's crazy. Sure. I think, I think uh, Uzi is basically like hip-hop's Marilyn Manson. Because it's like, to, I feel where you're coming from. I feel like it's all imagery. And I think they, I think he really don't care like that. I think he's just doing it for a shock value. Now... Is that what they want you to think? Or is that what you thought of yourself? Like, is that expected? Like, nah, this is all fake. Like, there's no way. You know, I know he's black. I know he probably came from a Christian household. He'd be probably be in church every Easter. You know what I'm saying? Easter just passed. You know, but, this is probably but church. Thinking you know that he's <laughs> thinking that he's demonic, is that you falling into what he wants you to think? Or is that thinking for yourself? I don't know which one is the matrix. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be very honest with you. Because you could be like, you could say what you, you had to say, and that be like, okay, am I falling into the trap of Uzi? Is it is it a trap? Well, that's, that's, I'm just saying. Well, they never know. Because I just look at it like it's strange, right? Do you know much about the Upside Down Cross? Not really. Okay, neither do I, but basically, <laughs> <laughs> but basically all I'm saying is if if the cross is normally up upside right, then if it's upside down, I'm just saying, I, I'm 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 assuming that's anti, you feel me? Like mm-hmm. it gotta be anti. It's it's literally right side down. You feel me? Like But I mean it's it's nothing new with Uzi, it's just a tattoo at this point. So you're saying we've been we've been overexposed to Uzi so it's not even a big deal anymore? Like, you know what I'm saying? They've been doing an upside down cross. So right. it's like. Since, since Saw Baby. Yeah. Since what? Saw Baby. 
No, nah, Saw Baby is really one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, ain't gonna lie. Saw Baby might be a special agent from hell himself. I'm not even gonna cap with you, bro. If you seen his last project, what was it called? Doing it for Demon. He said, he said, doing it for Demon. Mm. Yeah, that's crazy. Bro, he has, he's the only rapper with three sixes tatted on his head. What he said, he said, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, that's, that's the true, that's the true science behind Melanin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, everybody got their own ways. You feel yeah, me? I can't really, I can't really judge too deeply into that. But um, with that being said, I kind of want to gloss over um, this new Drake song that came out. Uh, for those who do know and who don't know, apparently Drake's newest song, "Search and Rescue," is the biggest song of twenty twenty three. I don't know um, why. What do you mean by that? I don't know. The the only reason. And I understand, like, if you don't know about Search and Rescue, then go do your research. But I understand that at the end of the day, why is the big, biggest song? is because, one, they talk about Kim Atlibs, and they talk about Kim was on the cover. So what makes it? What makes the population go, oh, this man, Drake, is a menace. Let me go check out the song. And people go out checking the song. But it's not the biggest record. I don't... That's not the biggest. You listen hit. to it. Yes. Did you listen to what it. Yeah, I listen to it. It's not. It's that not, song is mid, bro. It's mid. It's, it's, it's all mid, bro. Yeah. Come and rescue me. <laughs> that song is mid, bro. It's literally, bro. It's the weakest Drake song I've heard in literally the past two years. Yeah. It's the weakest song. The Kim sample doesn't do it for me, bro. I'm just being completely honest. I wonder if that song that is mid. That's cap, bro. I wonder if you got that cleared. He had to have it clear. Yeah, yeah. Cause he had to have it clear. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a whole play. I mean, Kim doesn't like Ye. But that's Drake not Kim doesn't like Ye. You said what? That's not Kim in the cover. I really want to tell you what it is. No, it's not Kim in the cover at it's all. It's not Kim in the cover. But, uh, go, what were you about to say? I can't say it because if I talk, I'm in big, big trouble. So, <laughs> um, is, uh, <laughs> this guy. The song is about him saying, I don't want to be a player no more. So come and rescue me. You ain't gotta be famous. You ain't gotta have bread. Just come and rescue me. Uh huh. That man spit in. That man spit in again. Uh-huh. I. Uh, uh-huh. The only reason. Uh-huh. <laughs> the only reason the song is the biggest song is one. There really has not been anything. Ooh. Uh-huh. There really has not been anything that dropped this the the whole year that was significant, and it's Drake. So. I don't know, bro. I know, I know. It blew up on TikTok, and I can see that's why it's it's recent success, it's recent peak. But I don't really think it was that at all. For you to come here and blatantly just lie to us and talk about <laughs> this has been the rawest song, the concept is so crazy. I, I think Drake has told multiple women to come and rescue him, whether they have money or not. I don't think this is an uncommon thing. Yeah, but Drake. it's vibey though. No, you're a captain. Come and rescue. He's blazing. I, I don't think he's, but he also is not on TikTok. So, but even on TikTok, I didn't even see as much of, like, I'm seeing. I saw the sound get used like a month. Uh, I uh, didn't see the sound it, get used. In my opinion, it's not like it's not like futures, uh, futures song last with year Thames? with Tums. Yeah, with Tums. Wait for you. Yeah, it's not like that. I I, I oh, did yeah, see no, no, I no, did no, see no. a lot of people. No, it's not like that at all. But obviously, the bar is very low. Uh, it's not okay. What it's it? not a hit song. It is a fire song. No, it's a hit song in twenty twenty three standards. <sighs> yeah, there isn't, there's, there's isn't nothing a, to compare to. That's why there hasn't been a big song. Has there been a big song in your opinion in this year? What is the hit? Because Glorilla F and F ain't it. You know what I'm saying? But that was Ice Spice Pink Panthers ain't it. That was twenty twenty three. Yeah, that ain't a big song. These women be dropping these records. They don't really be that big. But the perception be bigger than what they actually are. Because the, but you ain't saying F and M. Yeah, that's last year, gang. Oh uh, well, I, I lump all this this women music in the same. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Um, oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, nah. I mean, the reality of it is that Such a Rescue was a very mid mid tier song. I think the hype behind it, the the identity finding of who that was, <clears throat> Cabello, uh, in my opinion. I'm not, I didn't do no research. I really oh, didn't yeah. care. I didn't care nothing about this song. I, I was no saying, I, I, I only made, it only made sense because I see this video. Nah, it was weird. What's weird is like, 
for Kim to have a photo of her at a go kart place and people saying, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I don't know nothing internet. about that. That's the internet. I feel where you're coming from. Yeah, if you remember, you remember it. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember I don't, I don't remember it, but it's just like the fact that they took that picture and be like, is he referencing her? Is that really her? It's like, what are y'all doing? Someone's, someone's a kid. I, I is, mean, I, is that really Kim? It is Kim. It's a clip from, uh, she was talking to her mom and then she was like, this show. was after the divorce, yeah. And then it was like, she's like, I got it from the internet. I don't know what I'm really saying, but... You know what I'm saying? Also, it I don't even... Cool it, I, to, be, to be honest, I don't even think he had to clear it because it's like, why would we not allow something that's promotional mo- pro- promotional use for our show from the biggest rapper in the game? I mean, bro, look at, look at the industry, like, What clip is that from? Wait, what, what clip are you talking about? I'm about to go watch... The, what episode was that? But I mean, I don't think... I, I think that... Uh, I think um, the fact that Ye and uh, Drake already pieced it up that they was she is she not gonna be like they never put they never piece it up. I, I mean, mean he listened to the last uh, he said he's for, Jay Prince. You feel me? That for Jay Prince linking up with the Ops. Who know that man is BD bro? Man, that I support Drake. Jay Prince. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm hey, fully. Hey, look, nah, look I love Kanye. Okay, I love Ye. I love Ye, but I love Drake too. Pe- piecing it up. <laughs> Piece. Ye, Ye talking about he the biggest GD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What can I say? I love, I love his, I love his music, but it was a hard, it was hard for me to listen to Ruger and all that GD hey. nonsense. Um. <laughs> Yeah, let the GDs in the I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't with all that nonsense. I'm really, I'm, I'm really like, when, nah, uh, for real though, like, y'all can't lie, like, when we was in the soldier field and they played that, like, you had to look around. Yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie to you, bro. G- 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 and you had to, I really wanted to see who was feeling that song. <laughs> bro, I probably got <clears throat> footage of me in there still, like, still facing, like, I didn't go, damn, I let the GDs in the no, bro. The whole, the no, whole stadium erupted. Nah, <laughs> nah yeah, that yeah, was a legendary yeah. moment, though. But I mean, like, I mean, um, I feel like it's the song. It's not what it represents, type. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's like it's, everybody knows what it represents, but at the at the same time, it's a solid song. So it's like if it was, they didn't let the BDs in the door. That song would have been the most biggest record played in the industry. We would probably still be talking about it right now. I don't think so. I don't think so. You know why? Because BDs are all rappers. Exactly. <laughs> so, so, so. Why GDs? Well, first of all, the reason the song blew up was literally because it was like a funny, it was a funny AS ass anthem yeah. for the GDs. Yeah. But, but I'm saying, bro, you just said it right now. BDs are all around us in this industry. So that means that, okay, all right, we get it. They don't let the GDs in the dough. It ain't too many of y'all up here. We get it. But this record ain't finna stick. It's definitely not finna stick. Nah, nah. It's funny where it's like... But even at that time period, I felt like... The shelf life on that was mid. No, the, the song the song for what it is was like, oh, they made their own anthem and it sounds good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let's hype it up. It's, it's fire. But if you play that at a Chicago party, you're tweaking I, I don't mean, care. I don't care who's you're, there. You know, you're really not. I don't. No, 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 no. you're really not. No, I'm There's saying more GDs than there are BDs. To no, be I feel honest. that. But I'm saying what I'm saying is like, if you play that period, you're basically that's the uh, the SpongeBob meme. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Nah. When when they uh, from the SpongeBob movie when when it be like oh uh, dude dude is walking he's like hey who's a goofy goober. But they be ma- they uh, put it they cut it to multiple different songs. So he was like they was like oh they did it with the Pink Panther song where it's like bro walk in he's like who hey who put this song on who put this song on and then P- Patrick and SpongeBob is like <laughs> well, I I true I disagree with you only because no, I truly true. believe that GD's in the door was that when it came out no it was that it was it really was, that like if you was, was at a party was they was going they gonna love that they were playing it because they was making fun of it I ain't gonna lie they they're singing it. They're but singing it. No, but I'm saying, saying, I'm saying, but like when you put that on, like it but it'll turn fun. them up. It'll turn them up. Yeah. But it's funny because it's like you're wild if you're playing that. What's that other song? Exactly. What's the other song that FBG Junkie came out with? Uh, uh, they, uh it's a if real, you, it's a real, it's a real, real long party. party. 
Wait, you cannot get in. But yeah. I'm not saying. Uh, oh, yeah. Do they still play this today? No, I'm saying that that's in the same caliber. Yeah, yeah. It's in the same caliber. Like, those songs. Like, bust it off the man. Like, they want to no. sing that. No, but my point is, my point is, you got to look at what party you talking about. If you talking about a college party, I don't care. If you talking about a them party, I'm not finna be in that party to figure out who gonna all, sing Let first, the GDs in the Dog. First, first of all, I'm gonna let you know something right now. <laughs> them GDs are playing that GD song. That's not my point. Because you talking <laughs> about them. You basically saying a hood party. First of all, I don't even go to house parties. <laughs> but, but second of all, I know one thing about house parties in Chicago where majority of the room is GD. They playing that song. No, I'm talking about a party. I'm talking about a place where you don't know the demographic in there. I'm talking about a hood party. You don't know the demographic. You're going to find out the demographic when the song get played. I'm going to be very honest with you. Rarely are you popping out in Chicago and linking up with other BDs. No. Like, that's just the fact of it. Like, every BD is successful and out of the city. Just about. <laughs> just no, about. I'm talking about... Like, I'm, it's probably... I'm talking about you go to a hood club bruh, for every, and they play that song. Bruh. And them over there. And them over there. This is the per capita for GDs, bro. If it's every... every <laughs> like, like, talking about. <laughs> there's, <Bro. laughs> there's two BDs in a room per every 50 GD. That's just the facts. Of, that's just the facts. Most people, most most BDs won't even come out as BD to, because they're in fear of the GDs around them in their demographic. That's just a fact. Before there was a BD, there was a GD. Hey, man. Throw, throw your half hearts in the air, man. Throw it down, bro. Stop, t- stop sending people throw, up for this. I don't know. Your, what are y'all talking about? Throw your half hearts in the air. Bro, that's, nah. You, 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 you throw them no, down. Bro, no, no. Throw them down, bro. <laughs> no. That is throwing it down. No. Yes, it is. Throwing up something? Throw your half hearts. I'm talking about half hearts. I don't know what you're talking about. I said throw your half hearts in the air. So let's demonstrate that for us. I'm good. Do you know what a half heart is? So, yeah. So if I throw this up in the air. Throw this up in the air. Where is it going? You said throw your half hearts in the air. In the air. Do it. Demonstrate it. No. Your half hearts in the air. That means Yo, they going is that, a, is that a is this a Gen Z thing or is this a millennial thing? Definitely Gen Z, bro. Because I said this. I didn't. Oh, you talking about that? I said this. That's he, millennial, like, well, <laughs> I, I did this. I did this. <laughs> I did this. I did this. I did this. Hey, look. That's his heart. Bro went like this. Bro, bro threw a crib. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't, bro. I didn't. No, you know it's crazy because I see this on TikTok more because you go like this. I feel it. I feel it. Nah, I, my head. I, I definitely see this. This is the norm. That's not the norm. That's not the norm. That's a, that's this older. That's is older. A no, I feel like that's no, older. for sure. This I feel it. Marks. That's this, older. That's older. That's newer. This. That's newer. This is blocking it. No, because the heart is right here. <laughs> this is the heart. Yeah, you're, you're letting people know this yeah, is the heart. I, I don't know what that Bruh. is from this angle. I don't know what that is. It's I an emoji. Know. From this angle, I don't know what that bruh, is. It's an From emoji, your perspective, bruh. it's a heart. Bruh, it's an emoji, bro. From my angle, I don't know what that is. From your perspective, it's a heart. Bruh. That's sick. This is an emoji. So they said, how do they do it? I teach you. <laughs> this is how you do it. This is the half heart. Is man. that? Is that? Is that? Oh yeah, so yeah, that's what they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you wouldn't, See? you wouldn't say throw that in the air. No, but no, no, no. But the fact that the fact that there's three different hearts, that's three gens. <laughs> Niggas is stupid, bro. <laughs> Nigga, I'm, like, talking, I'm talking about throwing it in the air. I've the same thing as throwing this. it down. I see people do this. No, you know, they, they, do they this. don't know. Niggas don't understand, bro. Bruh, if if you throw it in the air, that's essentially throwing it up. But throw bro, it in the air. You just had it in the air. Was you throwing no, it up? I was throwing it down. Stop talking to me. Let's move on, bro. <laughs> throwing it up, throwing it Stop down. Stop talking to me, bro. Let's move on, bro. Everybody, assemble. <laughs> assemble! <laughs> that's, that's, hey, so there's this story. There's this one uh, funny story, right? It's about three BDs. I'm not going to get into it. But I love the number three. Speaking of number threes, World War Three was recently tweeted by Donald Trump on <laughs> Truth Social. Transition. 
All right, it's cool. That it's cool to be a hater, yeah, I guess. But yeah, I mean, do you think that this? Do you think that we'll see World War Three? Man, they said something about twenty twenty seven, bro. And they said if you're not preparing right now, if you're not on your stage right now, you're gonna be tweaking when it hits twenty twenty seven. I really believe that. In terms of poverty, in terms of everything, social yeah. media, technology. Is it gonna crash? No, it's just like it's gonna be a different world than what we're living in right now. Yeah. I can see that. I mean, we're going to be in a digital age all the way. Fully. So when do you plan on buying your Oculus Rifts? I'm not. I'm not on that. <laughs> I'm good on that. I can wait to that transition. Well, so uh, what What would this transition really consist of? Because we think about, like, think about the currency. Think about money. The F, like, I can understand, like, World War Three, but I don't think... When we talk about World War Three, I think it's a different type of World War Three. Yeah. I think it's a, it's, I think it's a attack on, it's an attack on children, in my opinion. Attack on children. Nah, bro. Mm-hmm. World War Three got to be strictly nuclear game. No, it can't. No, be. like literally. It can it's, be. It's, it's it's. And when it happens, we're all couple. But I don't think anybody's smart to attack the U.S. We not. Hey, hey, don't don't get it twisted. We are not that power anymore. It don't have to be that power. So what do you mean, like power. attack the U.S. like? Evade, it's what's not the World War Two. Like world, it's not oh, World War Two yeah. or World War One. Like, do you think that we're ahead? Huh? You think like yeah, you think bro. it would be in their best po- in their best yeah, interest yeah. to not no. do that? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like not. at the end of the day, we still the USA, bro. No, we not. If, if, we not. No, we are, bro. The reason, not, bro. The reason the whole thing off the whole nuclear thing is like it literally like that's like it, it's like it's like it's like trying to fight a crazy person. It's like. Yeah, Bro. you might be mad at this crazy person, but if you're trying to fight them, you're crazy. You're crazy. Y'all really think that U.S. of A is really a top dog? No, place? I'm not. Ta- I'm not caring if it's top dog or not top dog. I'm just saying that that's why it won't be nuclear. But to your point, when it's an attack on something that people are not looking at, that's when it really becomes something that oh, it, when when COVID happened, imagine if COVID was targeted. That's like doing a uh, Tamagotchi in today. <laughs> so, all right. So, look. Do you, think, do you think we're... All right. So, you think that it's an attack on kids. Like, if this they beat. That's going to be the World War. <laughs> <laughs> if this they beat. So, that's going to be the World War Three. is an attack on kids. Yeah, right? bro. So, so do you think we'll get there if we get Donald think Trump as a new president? Or do you think we'll get there if Joe Biden runs for first election all, again I, first all, and he becomes a president? First of all, I think TikTok is banned. Talk about in 2027. Yeah. No, but I'm not saying, 2027. No. I, I mean, of course. So, no, no. I'm, I'm, if Trump were to be in president. But I'm saying, I'm asking you, yes. in order to get to this future that you are talking about, mm-hmm. you know, do you think that we get there with Donald Trump being a president? Or do you think that we get there because recently Joe Biden just announced that he would be running for a second term? I don't think we care. I don't think we care anymore. About? I don't think we care who, who wins at this point. Nah, we definitely do. No, I mean, no, again, wants- to the last episode, we were saying that under Joe Biden, everyone became complacent to a certain degree. If it's Trump again, people are on edge, but at the same time... They know what they got. They know what they got. So mm-hmm. it's like, people aren't even talking about... I mean, people keep uh, talking about uh, DeSantis and all these other people, but it's like, people really don't care. Like, people went back to not caring about politics. People already said we seen the extreme, and we and seen, we the, seen extreme. the extreme. So it's like at this point, what you finna give us a continuation or go back to the extreme? It's like it is what it is at this point. Like I don't care. This country has so much mixed feelings about Biden. Do you vote? Crazy. Do you vote? Huh? Do you vote? Are you a voter? Uh, am I a voter? Yeah. Um, you said am I a voter? Like, do you vote for things? Do I vote for things? Yeah, like the president. Like the president? Yeah. Do you vote? I voted John for Biden. Well, well, did uh, did you vote? I voted for yay. I voted for uh, Dan. I, I, didn't, I didn't vote. I wanted to vote for yay, but I voted for Biden. I'm just kidding. I voted for Biden. Uh, would you vote again? <laughs> no, I don't care. Would you ever vote again? I don't care. What about you? Uh... What's that? What's that? What's that? Uh, what's the? 
I plead the fifth. <laughs> well, I'll be honest, bro. I'll probably never vote in this lifetime ever again. I don't care if it's Ye. I don't care if it's Trump. I don't but care I, if it's I, I didn't whatever. Vote. If Ye is actually running, I'll vote for him. But I didn't it. vote. I didn't vote. But like, it wasn't. It was. It was like the center was too far. <laughs> that was the reality. But the fact that like everybody was making this mission, like. You better not waste your vote. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, your vote isn't like that's the thing. Your vote is not as important as people make it seem. Um, it's a way no, it's to control a, it's a, it's us. A, it's but I, I even think, I even think that Trump, his whole reign was more speculative. Not speculative. It was more commercial, as in like he would do something and media would respond, as opposed to anything actually happening during his stuff. It's just when COVID hit, you was the one in charge. That's on you. Yeah. You got something yeah, to do with that, that body. For, that for sure. I'm like, uh, but Trump be outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Trump, yeah. Recently, he was just at this USC 287. Yeah, yeah. you feel me? It, it looked like he was in good spirits. It doesn't look like, it looked like my president. <laughs> you feel me? But it like, look like, how, it looked like how I would want my president to be representing himself. Uh, there, was, there, was, there was a video of him, like, I, I guess he lost the bet. And, uh. He took money out of his back pocket and gave it to somebody. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, you, 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 Trump, you feel me? You went against the Nigerian contract. I'll take that back, not my president. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that back. You played yourself, game. I, I you you played yourself, game. But I'm going to be honest, though. Trump over Biden? Very much so. I feel like, I mean, realistically, like, I, I feel like care. when people I, like, see it, when you, when you see it, like, you hey. have your stream. You have your stream. Oh, which one would I pick? Oh, I pick Trump. It's picking one of the lesser evils. Look, do we care about racism anymore? I think we don't care we'll about. To that. that was a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <was> like, <laughs> <laughs> no. I I was seeing the video and then somebody was like, it was like, yeah, I like my racist outside. <laughs> like we don't, because <laughs> I can't see them no more. Oh, you like your racist outside? They, they like I don't like yeah. when they hit it. I mean, yeah. they, before I mean, it was, it was like ah, I mean, I know. that's probably why we need that man Trump back in office. But I don't know, man. Like I feel like, bro, like what are we talking about? <laughs> I mean, like in this in the spectrum, like these are conversations not only yeah, that we yeah, are having, yeah, yeah, yeah. but other people are having. You feel me? Like I literally bring up a video of somebody talking about the same stuff, mm-hmm. and it's just like, what is we talking about? That's what I'm saying. One or three around the corner, like. I'm telling you, what was that word? World World Three, around the corner. Oh, around the corner. Like the fact that, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, there is the fact that we are consumed, and like, that's crazy, bro. Yeah. Well, I mean, hopefully we can get you know. No, I ain't gonna say that. Hopefully we can get we can get uh Mr. Trump back in office. He can whip this country back into shape. Four years from now, be 2027, and. uh or well, actually, no, it'll be 2028 by the time, by the end of his term. Um, then we can avoid that World War Three. Yeah, because the election isn't actually until 2024. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. This is probably the only president that I've noticed has been in office for too long. Who, Biden? Yeah. Like, no like, other no <laughs> other president has been like, damn, that president was in there for a minute. Although they all was there for four years. It's the only one I've been aware of has been here for three but years now. I think it's... Uh... This is like crazy, but it's like when when twenty twenty hit, like you knew it was the end of I'm Trump. Saying, that's, but also, it's like that's what I'm saying. Your awareness level is probably on ten. Well, yeah, COVID. because it just came out of a pandemic. Factual. But it's twenty twenty three. Like when did the pandemic end? Twenty twenty one. Hey, real quick, Trump I, got voted twenty sixteen. Hey, real quick, I just I want to just tell you guys this thing, and I'll kind of use it as a wrap up, but. Um, it was a kid, like, because you're talking about COVID and how it was, like, that time period. So this kid, um, he's, like, from HF or whatever. I'm talking to him. He's like, yeah, I transferred into HF. I'm from the city. I transferred in his freshman year. And then uh, we got COVID. And then I'm just now getting back to my senior year. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's lucky sick as hell. I'm not even going to lie. Like, he's, like, he's, like, he's like, yeah, I can't really tell you how HF is because... I ain't really been there for two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, damn. That sucks. That that completely sucks. So I was like, dude was literally talking like, yeah, I damn near kind of hate HF. And it's like, he's like, yeah, because I just don't like the school. Like, I like city schools way better. And it's like, 
I probably feel you, bro, because HF once was is not today. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think that I think uh COVID really did a, a number on everyone's lives Tony. in history. Tony, they but missed their beat. That's what I'm saying, but it's like to what you were saying earlier, it's like what if something happens where it impacts kids way more than it does adults and then now they gotta deal with something that Oh, bro, because it's social said. media age. Kids so, are, so kids you are got to live in, So you're saying like... If TikTok doesn't get banned, in my opinion, if TikTok does oh not yeah. get banned, kids is over with. Like, y'all need to, they need to get back to YouTube vlogs. Nah, <laughs> ooh, ooh, real quick, real quick though. Did you see how the owner of TikTok is now on TikTok making videos? No. The nah, dude that was, I, the dude I, that was in the hearing? Yeah, he's on, Yeah, he's on TikTok. That was crazy. That was crazy. That was crazy. It's not. It's not no hate in my blood. Not no hate. I was just shaking. Hey, real quick though, (laughs) the dude is on TikTok. He's making videos. He's copping pleas to the people of TikTok. Right? He already told us that they pull a lever to make somebody go up. He's got three point three million followers. His videos are hitting one point seven million. How do I not know any of this is fake? Um, they're controlling the algorithm. Real quick is. Um, I think that uh, I think he's doing that because I think America is TikTok's biggest market. But at the same time, someone made a point of being like, China bans a lot of things. They ban Facebook. They ban Twitter. They ban all this other all stuff. Facts. But we, when it comes to banning TikTok, we like, hey, wait, hold up. That's crazy. That's because. We care about other, you know what I'm saying? We care about way different stuff than other countries do. But it's like, to your point, YouTube doing the same thing. No, well, it's the fact that you just said that China bans all the all the other socials. And yet, we are not banning the Chinese social. We struggle to do that. Yeah. I don't think anything else matters after that but, statement. But no, to the, uh, to the point of saying TikTok got the lever, I was saying YouTube got the lever too. We don't know that. No, that's a fact, yeah. yeah no, I'll be on shorts. It, it's no reason why people that I see from TikTok going crazy on YouTube. I wouldn't be surprised. And Shorty, short not. I follow Shorty. She literally said, um, yeah, YouTube hit me up and said, come to shorts, lead TikTok, and we going to make sure your stuff go up. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised. These are, this is, this is, so, that's a business. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a business, business bro. Yeah. Whatever revenue you want to bring us, bring to us too. Come on, yeah. You just don't see it. I mean, they're not getting money off of shorts regardless, so it's kind of like hey, the conversion for that is, Bro, is way worse than than long form content. The, the things that you have to do to go viral on Instagram is crazy. No, yeah, 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 that's that's all, crazy. That, no, that's, a, they, that's like a full time job like yeah, yeah, yeah. i feel it cool you get your free clothes yeah, it kind of made it into tiktok tiktok is starting to become a full-time job yeah, oh, to, yeah, yeah to be yeah. able to, to capitalize on mm-hmm. that it's it's definitely a full-time uh, I, got, I got something to say but i'll wait till we finish okay but all right well let's, let's just wrap up this episode um, after? Um, yeah, 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 after. all right so that was another episode of slime world podcast i'm little boy rock i'm yay i'm solo and you guys tapped into another conversation that was out this world let's go I'm on a block with a work, work, work. Play with me, won't work, work, work.